Yeah, I'm single. Man. What happened what to happened? you and Ruby Rose? Yeah, you know, that, y'all know. went together for literally two weeks. Listen, so. God blesses you sometimes with situations. You just it's a learning situation, you know. And that's that's what it's all about. It's there wasn't nothing bad that happened. Yeah. We just you know. What, what was like he said? It was a learning situation. You get in these relationships that you think gonna last for a long time, but they don't last for a long time because when two celebrities get together, it just don't work out. Let's continue. She's a beautiful girl. She She's is. doing great in life, man. She's making money. I'm doing the same. So, you know. What was the learning factor in their relationship? What um, did you learn from it? I learned that uh, when you got a you got a bad bitch, you can't really just... Oh, my, my bad. Oh, yeah. I can't. It's right. okay. Um, Go ahead. When you got one of those. We got one off. Before I can't you, keep doing them. You see how you get me when I start talking about my ex, man. So, come on. Don't I do that. I thought you were right. feeling. My bad, y'all. So, when you have a, a, a beautiful woman. Yeah, when you have a beautiful woman. Of that caliber. Of that caliber. <laughs> What happened? You know, it, it comes with a lot. And I wasn't really, I, I don't know if I was prepared yet. Mm -hmm. But I, I learned a lot from it. So I think. Um, come you know what it came with? It came with a lot of responsibility and also came with a lot of people claiming that the relationship wasn't real. And he wasn't ready for that. He thought, oh, I'm, I'm getting with this woman. I'm getting with this chick. We're going to have a good little time. We're going to be in a good relationship. And what happened was a lot of the vitriol he wasn't ready for coming out of that you know you you better have them pockets ready oh, oh, oh so, yeah. okay, so. yes indeed yes indeed i told you see the thing is is it's a difference between dealing with a woman who's like a regular everyday plain jane and then you dealing with a woman that's been on social media you know who's had dudes and gave her money and all these different things you gotta have that pockets right you can't come in there half stepping and i know drewski got a bag but yo he probably thinking to himself like whoa I didn't know it was this much money dealing with her. <laughs> Let's continue. What is it? I ain't saying that's what happened. No, I'm I, saying. So I, I want to understand. So was it yeah. more financial when you deal with nah, a woman of that cal yeah, caliber? Yeah, but I think it's all. You just got to be ready because you don't know when you're going to have to be pulling that wallet out. Oh, like if y'all go to a store, like you need to buy me this yeah, 15000 Birkin. Yeah, you could be at a dinner and uh, she won all the expensive stuff on that on that menu. But didn't you know that before you got into a hey, relationship? Sometimes, what listen. He just said it was a yeah. learning oh, experience. So learning hey. See, he get it. Ticket, ticket him get around the block. Tick him, <laughs> hey, ticket, tell him what it is, man. You, he so, know. See, she don't understand, man. And Tick understand. He like, yo, man, I know. I've been around the block a few times. I done dated some women that, you know, when we go to these restaurants, she want the most expensive thing on the menu. And you know what I'm saying? As a woman like that, a Ruby Rose's caliber, she expects you to pay for it. You know what I'm saying? You go to a restaurant, you pay, you you go and get the most expensive thing on the menu. Drewski wasn't ready for that. He probably was thinking, man, we're going to go ahead, do these things. And he expected to spend some money, but he didn't expect to spend that much money. So so learning what you what you know now, yeah. would you go after a woman of that stature? Uh, Cause you might yeah. have you know your pockets might be a little yeah, deep now. Yeah, you got a yeah. Rolex on, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that, oh, this come on, girl, this basic. This ain't, oh, this is long. <laughs> I ain't, I ain't, okay. I ain't went too crazy. I'm yeah. just saying. But yeah, no, I think um yeah, I, shit, I might even spend the block on this. I don't I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I'm, 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 I might, go, I might go back and spin the block. Okay. Y'all don't oh, even know what spin the block means. I do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I told you. Take it no. <laughs> what is it? I might go back and spin the like block. <laughs> He talking about I'm going to spin the block. I'm going to go ahead and spin the block on that one, man. Bro, you ain't going to spin the block on that one. I'm going to tell you something, man. Because at the end of the day, man, I look at it like this. And the one thing that we have to understand is that when you're dealing with women like that, you have to really, really know what you're dealing with. You got to know exactly who you dealing with. And now there's rumors out there that Ruby Rose and moved on. There's rumors out there that Ruby Rose has found a new boo. And you know his name. You know him. He's one of the dudes that, you know, he, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? He done faked the streams. He done did all these collabos. You know, he's a famous rapper, French Montana. They were out at dinner at uh, Mr. Child's in LA, they went out on a date or whatever. So, Drewski, if you want to spin the block on that again, man, you want to get through French Montana to spin the block on Ruby Rose, man. I'm gonna be honest, man. But hey, fellas, I got a question for you. 
Have you ever been in Drewski's situation before that you got with a woman, you expected one thing, but then when you got a relationship with it, it was a whole different thing? Let me know in the comments. Let's get the conversation started. It's your boy Jay. Until next time, I'm out.